welcome to the test recording for um, my first cooking video. This is the test recording. It might end up being the first cooking video just for fun. Um, but today I'm just kind of trying a setup and I'm going to probably over the course of the day try a few more setups just to see what angles work and what lighting works uh, so I don't end up being too washed out. I have here my workspace, which is not very large right now. Uh, once I get a, a, an idea of how much space I actually use when I'm working, that may change. And um, behind me, the stove with my very uh, fun set up here where my, <laughs> my cell phone is set up to be my camera for above the stove for now. That's probably going to change. But for today, I wanted to make things as simple as possible and just get started. And the longer I delay, the more likely I am to procrastinate. This is uh, going to be one of the first items on my new website, doing things badly, which is uh, there's a principle that says doing things badly at least gets a start. Doing things badly is OK because you learn by trying, by doing and you're going to fail and that's okay. You're going to do things badly. That's okay. Um, with my short attention span, I try a little bit of everything and I do mean everything. So I do a lot of things badly, a whole lot of things badly. And I'm trying to learn to be okay with that. And I think a lot of other people need to learn to be okay with that too, with their first attempts, not looking like, all the influencer videos or like um, and my house doesn't look like Martha Stewart's I'm not showing you right now but you could probably guess from the uh, uh, utensil display over there where all the knives are just kind of shoved in a bin I'm not I'm no Martha Stewart I'm not a great house cleaner my house stays clean enough to live in comfortably and not get sick and that's about all I can manage um, I'm not a professional chef I been cooking for my family for years but actually my husband does most of the cooking but I've decided I'm gonna learn some cooking so here we go so the test is not actually a new recipe the test is literally me making the scrambled eggs that I make myself for breakfast every day although if you when I move if you see the camera behind or the the clock behind me you'll notice that it is in fact a lot closer to lunchtime now <laughs> <laughs> I've spent more time this morning doing this because this is also a thing I do badly because I've never done it before. Uh, I've never set up a full recording setup. The closest I've ever done is recording jigsaw puzzles or painting, and I haven't done a whole lot of that either. Um, so this is an experiment too, and there's going to be a lot of this. There's going to be a lot of me setting things up badly, trying again and trying again and trying again, and hopefully with every... <laughs> with every round I get a little bit better and there are going to be things that I decide it's just not for me um, although I'm a round person and I know for a fact that food is for me so I expect the cooking videos to continue I hope <laughs> um, I have today like I said I'm going to do scrambled eggs and then if I can get the setup the way I want it I have a recipe from the Discworld cookbook Nanny Ogg's cookbook um, for figgins and I will talk more about that cookbook in that video uh, but if you haven't read it uh, it's it's worth a read definitely check it out from your library first and if you like it and you want to try the recipes go buy it it's worth it it's worth a few dollars but let's get started on those eggs shall we all right don't make fun of me for how I crack eggs I'm terrible at it um, I don't do the one-handed crack the egg method. I literally smack it on the counter and hope like heck that I don't get eggshells in it. I'm gonna step out of focus for a second here, throw this away. Trash can is off to the side. And washing station. And a towel to dry my hands, which should be hanging on this stove. All right, so eggs. I like eggs a lot. I have a minor obsession. I do usually add a little bit of pepper to my eggs. Maybe a little more, a little more pepper. I like pepper. Do you like pepper? 
and some salt. Uh, I use the coarse sea salt because I really like it. Um, I just like the way it tastes better. It, it tastes less bitter to me. I don't know if that's the iodine and iodized sea salt or whatever, but I like it better. So a little bit of salt, not too much because, you know, don't need a whole lot. Eggs actually have quite a bit of flavor on their own. And then I just put them with a fork. You can use a whisk for this if you like. I obviously um, just have this down. I've been doing this for years and years. And if you if you don't cook, if you've never cooked, if you're looking at this going, how does she do that? It's literally just kind of a, a circle. And every time you come around, you change the direction of the fork slightly. I realize that sounds silly, but as you hit the egg, it forces it this way. So when you stir, you're kind of scooping it as well. See what I mean? All right. So once you've got a lot of air in these, because the more air you get in these, the fluffier they are. There we go. I'm going to go over here to the stove where I completely forgot to uh, heat my pan. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So most of the time when you see me cook, I'm going to cook on this burner because it's a, it's a an expandable burner. It's an expandable element. I do use an electric cooktop, not because I uh, uh, don't have access to gas, but because I don't like the smell of natural gas. Uh, the additive that they put in it gives me headaches. So. I'm going to be using an electric stove. A lot of people swear by their gas stoves, and that's fine. That's absolutely fine. If you like gas stoves, uh, your cooking experience will be a little bit different because the gas does heat the pan a little differently. And um, electric stoves, as I understand it, work on a pulse heating. So the temperature does actually have a little bit of variation in there as the um, as it heats. It, it pulses with heat and then uh, backs off a little bit and then pulses again to create that level of heat. So it's not technically super stable. That said, I'm using a coated cast iron and an enameled cast iron pan. And the heavier pans like the stainless steel with a very thick base, the enameled cast iron, things like that, uh, maintain their temperature better because they have so much material to them. I am using butter flavored cooking spray. Yay! Butter flavored cooking spray. Um, I actually prefer to use uh, butter or margarine because I, I can't have dairy, so no actual butter for me. I prefer butter in the pan, but this is easy and only takes a second and I don't want to have to wait for the butter to melt. So there we go. Done. Let me go put this away. So that's another thing. I am bad, very, very bad at um, putting things away as I go. I've gotten better at it as I've gotten older, but sometimes you'll see me leave stuff sitting out and like right here is the grits that are to go with the eggs. That's part of my breakfast and well, not just mine, but everybody's. Um, so I, I leave stuff sitting out, ignore the paper towel that I've been putting the grits spoon on. <laughs> All right, let's see. Yes, that should be warm enough to get started. Before I pour that in, I want to make sure I have a spatula. Spatula. A lot of people refer to this thing as a spatula. This is a turner. I will be calling this a turner. And I'll probably call it a spatula like three times because I grew up with somebody who called it a spatula, but it's a turner. Spatula. Yay! For this, I want a spatula because I want to be able to scrape the surface of the thing. And while this technically will do that, this also is designed to flip things. And let me see if I can show you. This isn't gonna, this is, this is plastic. It's hard plastic. So it's not actually gonna get to that edge and 
pull, it's not going to create that seal that's going to pull stuff off the bottom. So put this over here. And what I want, I'm going to whip my eggs, because they had to sit, I'm going to whip them one more time before I put them in. Because I had to let them sit for a minute. All right, here we go. So you can see the, the um, non-stick spray has browned a little, and I've got a little bit of a scratch or something there on the skillet, but that's okay. So that tells me that sizzle. And this is actually a little bit too hot. I didn't want it quite that hot. I wanted it a little bit lower than that. So I usually set my eggs to medium heat, but this burner, because it's... Uh, a dual size burner, it tends to be a little less specific, a little less um, reliable on that kind of thing. But you'll notice with my eggs, uh, because I want them to stay fluffy, I'm not letting them sit for very long because the longer they sit, the drier that bottom edge gets. So I want to keep it moving. There we go. And I let that sit a little bit too long. That's why that's brown. So these are not good eggs, sorry. These are gonna be mediocre eggs. Um, ideally, you want to keep these moving and not let this get too hot. I'm actually gonna turn this burner off because I want that to start cooling because this pan, as I said earlier, holds a lot of heat. So I'm gonna get all of this off. And those cooked way too fast, see that browning? So next time I will make sure to, uh, on this burner, turn that temperature down a little bit more. I normally use a different burner and I am learning as I go, which is kind of the point of um, doing things badly. I'm, I'm not gonna do everything right. So as you can see, there's a lot of browning on this. I do not want that. That's um, actually pretty disappointing because I'm usually pretty good at eggs. I eat so many of them. Um, but otherwise they smell good. I'm sure they'll be tasty. They just won't be as, as moist as I would like and as, as fluffy as I would. So, there we go. Scrambled eggs. And the giant container of grits. Uh, as I said, this is not just my food. Um, not that I don't want to eat all of it, but uh, as you noticed in the video, I'm already a little bit round, so I'm not going to eat all of this myself. I will share, I suppose. Um, actually, my significant other already came out and got some uh, grits with currants, which is kind of an exciting thing for him because he's never had regular currants and he was surprised by the flavor. Uh, I'll be cooking with currants in my next video. Hopefully, that video will go really well and I'll be able to produce something really awesome. But if not, there's no shame in doing things badly. Thank you so much for joining, and I will see you next time where we can do some more things badly.